So I'm going to talk just a short bit about the uh, musical heritage of, of Halo. So obviously with any big franchise uh, like Halo, the, the, the music is important. But particularly with Halo, it's a big deal. And people have a lot of attachment to it. Um, like Paul mentioned, uh, Marty O'Donnell and Michael Salvatore did the, the, the score for the original Halo in 2001. And that really set sort of the stylistic universe uh, in terms of what is Halo-esque. Um, and since then, a lot of people have contributed to the, the Halo canon, in, in, including us and uh, Cosma Jinoichi and um, Neil Davidge and Tom Salta and lots of people. Uh, Stephen Rippey, actually, uh, he did the first Halo Wars. Um, so a lot of people have contributed to it, but the sort of essential Halo sound um, was created by you know Marty O'Donnell and Michael Salvatore, and, and we can sort of distill that down into five components, basically. Um, there's like a traditional orchestra element, and particularly sort of um, the, this like you know Barber Adagio for strings, uh, like really sweeping, beautiful string pieces. Um, then there's also an electronic element, like there's just like there's synths like with the orchestra, but then there's also just straight up like ambient textural music and some really weird, uh, creepy music for the flood, things like that. Aleatoric. Yeah, just like aleatoric, odd, uh, odd stuff. And then the, you also have just a rock element as well. So like in Halo 2, uh, Steve Vai played a bunch of guitars on it. When we did a Halo 2 anniversary, we brought him back. So there's there's this like diverse range of styles. The other aspect there's like a tribal element um, that's in a lot of the music, and then last but not least, there's a, a sacred element. So with like the monk chant, which I think is probably the the most what people when they think of Halo music, they think of that monk chant, and it's that sacred element that has this kind of like spiritual connection. So with Halo Wars 2, what we wanted to do is to honor those you know, pillars or, or guidelines of the style, but also within that, like we have a lot of breathing room to, to sort of do something new and put our own fingerprint on it. Um, so that was, that was sort of the, the goal with, with the music on this.